We've just got a whole bunch of news from Mobile World Congress 2024 about the Samsung Galaxy Ring that has been, you know, that was announced and unpacked earlier this year. And I'm excited. There's a whole bunch of features that I think I'm actually going to use. I actually didn't talk about this a lot because I didn't, I, I wanted to hear more about what the product was before I actually got pumped about it. And now I'm officially, I'm officially pumped. In this video, I'm going to break down what is coming out, what we know, what rumors are out there, what they have uh, suggested in terms of launch date, battery life, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, grab yourself a cup of coffee. It's going to be good. First up, and this is no surprise to anybody with half a brain, it's going to be a health-centric product first. So smart devices can be lots of different things, but it makes sense that the most important thing in your life is your health and that this device will be a, you know, a health-centric device. Uh, product will it replace your galaxy watch probably not because it's going to they're going to want it to work together and i think there's a lot of different reasons for that but having all these different products in the same ecosystem working in tandem to measure your health is a great thing it's going to work with samsung health at the moment which is a you know it's a great app i really love it i used to like dunk on it all the time but i actually have really got into uh using it and seeing how powerful it is i'm actually considering making a whole video on how good samsung health is because i think there's a lot of untapped potential in there secondly it's also going to work with smart things which was probably the most interesting thing for me because that means that it has the potential to do more than just your health Obviously, your buds and your and your watch and your phone all connect with smart things so that you can track those products. But what if you could use this as a button, a smart button? Uh, or you can Captain Planet Punch your front door if you've got a smart lock or something. Or uh, Captain Planet Punch a smart light in your toilet and make the whole room pink. But for real, I think that's a, a really cool thing. Maybe even like a smart touch dial. Like, like you can change the, you can rotate this like a bezel and it can change the lighting, or, you know, dim the lights or up the volume on something. Very cool ideas could emanate from it being integrated into smart things. Then there's also Samsung Pay that's coming out. That's that's another rumor that's, that's popping up. That's a double-edged sword for me because we already know there's a lot of theft happening with, with NFC and card payments. With Samsung, it's great because there's a lot of authentication, so your products are really secure. It's the Knox chipset, but also you have to either use biometrics if you're using your phone, or if you've got a smartwatch like the Watch 6, you have to enter a password you know, before the transaction goes through. There's no biometrics that I can see happening on a smart ring, but at the same time, it is on your finger, so there must be some form of biometrics, but they can't just rely on that because you could be swinging your arm randomly at a grocery store and somebody has a like a payment system and they could just swing it past you and you know that that can't work that's something that they're going to have to solve but i like the idea of having samsung pay with you at all times even if you just got a ring on maybe you don't want to wear your watch when you go running you're missing out on a huge part of who your watch is but you know what i mean so here's some of the potential rumored features that are going to be in the ring a huge feature that's being rumored that people really want is ECG and I totally agree with them. ECG measures the electrical impulses of your heart so with that data you can then preempt whether you're having a heart attack or not. Something that could really save your life which is very cool and having it in the form factor of a ring I think is more reliable than having it in a watch because a watch has a watch straps people you know you wear your watch strap at different angles you have it on the wrong part of your wrist or whatever the case is I think that's going to be a more reliable and helpful reading on your ring and you're more likely to wear your ring at all times but I'm going to get into that in a little bit the second thing that really really gets me excited is the fact that it's going to have sleep tracking potentially and sleep apnea detection so I struggle with snoring. It's unfair on my partner. She has to deal and put up with me snoring all night. Uh, and she doesn't really get a good night's sleep. But it's actually a health risk for me as well. If I have sleep apnea, I'm not getting a good night's sleep. And I could be using the watch to track my sleep. I know you're thinking about that. But I hate using watches when I go to bed. And if you agree with me, please hit the like button. Just write a comment below. But going to sleep with a watch on, it just I can't stop thinking about it. I actually can't get to bed. Um, it just feels hot and sticky and yucky and just like it's obtrusive. But going to bed with a ring is so much more comfortable. And also, it's the time of night I charge my watch. Like, I don't charge my watch during the day. I charge it when I'm not wearing it, when I go to bed. So I don't really get the benefits of the sleep tracking. And I know there are apps. If there's anybody out there who can suggest apps, please let me know. There are sleep tracking apps that measure your snoring patterns. And, you know, the phone, like, listens the whole night while you snore. So they can track that stuff. But I don't think that stuff is accurate or helpful. or And it's a, potentially a security risk. 
having something on my ring means it's always going to be there. It's going to be able to measure like my snoring. It's going to measure the sleep, sleep apnea, but also help me correlate the two. So it could be sleep apnea or it could be uh, a direct relationship between my health status. Like, am I overweight? Is that affecting my breathing patterns? So if I get fit over time, does my snoring drop? Then that means that I, those two graphs are gonna, it, it's gonna be impactful for me. That's good data. But I'll only be able to do that if I can have all these devices connected on Samsung Health. So I'm very excited about the ring for that. There's gonna be blood oxygen monitoring. Um, uh, those are the big rumors. I mean, obviously you got that on your watch right now. Heart rate monitoring, yeah, standard. I mean, th those things have been going around for ages. Blood flow measurements. But also, very interestingly, fertility tracking. Fertility tracking, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> you should probably shouldn't be watching this video. But, but uh, you know, it's very hard to get pregnant. At a certain time of the month, uh, there's an ovulation that occurs. When you ovulate, that's when you can have kids. That's when you can be impregnated. So you've got to be able to track that ovulation cycle. And that's what that's for. And the fact that the ring does that is great. If you didn't know that, I, I don't know. I don't know. You shouldn't be buying fitness rings. Yeah, you shouldn't be buying fitness rings if you, if you didn't know that. I should have just assumed that everybody knew. Okay, never mind. That's weird. I don't know. Some countries don't believe in like sex ed. So here, here we go. Galaxy Unlocked, your daily dose of sexual education. In terms of battery life, Samsung is suggesting that it's going to last between five and nine days. So that's roughly about a week, which I like. I think that's a really good thing to, to aim for. But also it means that, again, like sleeping, I can just wear it at all times. And because it's going to have a very low footprint, a very small footprint, the battery size is going to be super small. It's going to charge really quickly. You probably could charge it to that capacity in an hour or two on your desk with a little, I don't know, your, like whatever wireless charger it's going to use. And you're then good to go for another week. So you just need like a downtime of like an hour or two, which is so much better than the downtime of a watch, which has got arguably a bigger battery, but there's a lot going on here. There's a big screen. It's bright. The screen's kind of killing the battery on these watches. So removing that screen and, and having those features built into this little finger ring, finger ring, this ring into a ring is so much smarter. What is this channel becoming? Samsung showed three different styles. So gold, black, and silver. I really like the gold and matches my skin tone. And I like the fact that they've chosen these designs because they feel like real jewelry. I hate technology that just, it's obnoxious. It throws the fact that it's technology at you, like square smartwatches. Why would you wear a rectangle or square smartwatch? Because it doesn't look like a watch. You have to tell everybody that you're wearing something. I love the Galaxy Watch 6. It makes me feel like I'm actually wearing a watch. And sometimes you have to do, do a, a double take, depending on what, like, you know, watch face you've got on. That's technology for me. I want people to not realize that I'm wearing a smart ring. It's got to look like it goes with my outfit. It's got to be fashionable. It's got to go with my skin tone. It's got to look the part. It can't look like I'm wearing, wearing like a, a gauntlet, like I'm Thanos. That's going to be up to Apple users. They're just going to have like, hey, did you see? Did you see? I put this big thing over my eyes and I've got this, I've got five other rings, five fitness rings. Hmm. Click them all to end half the world. They also announced that there are going to be 10 different sizes. So there's going to be a size for everybody which is good. It needs to fit snug. Go to your local jewelry store. I'm sure it's going to use a, a similar measuring system. You just go there, ask them what the, your ring size is, and then you can buy a watch in that ring size. That's going to eliminate a lot of people who buy this online. Right now, it's only available on Android devices, and I think it's safe to say it will always only be available on Android devices. There are rumors that Apple are developing their own ring for themselves. So again, that same thing with the smart tag too. Now the Apple tracker is out. You, you, you can't access your smart tag to on an Apple device, even though it's got smart things built into it, which is crazy to me. Whatever, Apple, Apple things. Same with your, your watch, your watches. Like it, you just can't access them uh, on uh, smart things, even though it's available on, on, uh, on app store, on the Apple app store. It's what are they doing? What are Apple doing? In terms of release date, the Galaxy Ring looks like it's going to be coming out uh, late summer 2024. It's that late in summer in the northern suburbs. So that's it's northern suburbs, northern hemisphere. Uh, so that's looking at about July this year, which is cool. That's closer than I thought it was going to be. It looks like it's going to be at Unpacked for the Flip and Fold events. Are you as excited as I am about uh, the ring? I wasn't until I saw a bunch of these rumors and actually got to see it. Um, wearable tech is really exciting for me and like 
yeah, I think this is this is a, a great way of measuring your health without being, it solves a lot of problems that I have with the watch, you know, it's just being inobtrusive and just around at all times. Let me know in the comments below, I'm gonna be in and around there just chatting with you guys. And uh, if you could hit the like button and check out this video, I know you're gonna like it. I know you're gonna like this video. This one's chosen just for you. I'll see you in another video. Cheers.